should authors be getting involved in book world drama? Because we know as part of the book community, we are seeing drama every single day, multiple times a day. There is so much drama all the time. We are never lacking in something going viral on the internet in the book community. So as an author, do we get involved in this? You have to make sure that you are very, very wise about when you're inserting yourself into the conversation or when you're leading these conversations. There are certain times authors should not be getting involved. And there are times when we do need to be leading the conversations. So this will be on a case by case basis. Sometimes there is a right and a wrong answer. Sometimes it's really an opinion based thing. And you have to take into consideration a lot of different things before making those choices. So we're going to talk about some of those principles, some of those things to help guide you to make your decisions. The first thing you need to think about is your career. Is this going to impact you now? And is this going to impact you in the future? If you are somebody who just loves to gossip, you just love to talk about what's going on on the internet, you just love to let people know, hey, this person did this and this person did this and this is what's going on, that can come back to bite you. If you're just being gossipy about it, that's usually not going to work to your benefit. And if you're talking badly about fellow authors, this is more often than not going to be seen as you trying to bash the competition. Not only does this look poorly professionally, but the book readers will find you and probably take you down because of it. So you want to make sure that you're not being gossipy. You're not doing it just to have those conversations. You're not trying to be the town crier with this. And you're being very judicial about when you are speaking into this, because it will have ramifications on your career now and ramifications on your career in the future. And if you're the person who's just constantly talking about what's going on, when the important things come up, people probably aren't going to listen to you because you're just there for all of it. So you want to make sure that you are using your standing for good, valuable reasons. So you have to be very intelligent about when you're speaking into these things. Now, that doesn't mean you can't be there to watch it. It doesn't mean you can't be there to privately have conversations about it. But it does mean you're going to be very, very intentional about when you're choosing to insert yourself into a book world situation. Now, with that in mind, you also want to keep aware of of some of these things that are going to be community-based conversations and internal professional conversations. So when really bad things happen in the book industry, we should be taking that lead to speak on it. But we don't always have to speak in a public capacity. In fact, a lot of the time, I find you should not be talking to the book community as a whole. It's more important to be having these discussions to the author community as a whole. So just because something's going on doesn't mean we need to lead the charge with everybody. You don't need to be bringing in the book readers. You don't need to be bringing in other people. You don't need to be leading the gossipy stuff that's going on on social media. But you can be leading valuable conversations inside of author circles. Sometimes there are conversations where readers need to be in charge of the readers and authors need to be in charge of the authors. And sometimes there are conversations where we as authors need to step up and lead the entire industry, readers and authors. So you have to be very, very aware of what type of conversation we're having. You got to make sure that your goals and your motives for this is to move the industry forward. And sometimes that means bringing all of us in on it. And sometimes that means making sure that this is a professional conversation so that we can handle it and then we can bring it to the general public or we can step into the conversation the general public is having. So sometimes we want to do it big in public because that's what is going to be most beneficial to the growth of the industry. And sometimes it is way more important to make sure that we as professionals figure out what's going on, get a handle on it, get a plan, and then come to the community to bring everybody in on it. Sometimes there's those steps that you have to go through to make sure it's going to be most beneficial to the most people. So you want to take that into consideration. And if you're ever unsure, start, always start the conversation with just authors, get some feedback, have the conversations, and then bring it to the general public. If you're ever unsure of which way you should go for everyone or for the professionals and then bring it to the general public, always go to the professionals, then bring it to the general public, even if it's a quick turnaround time, maybe just a single conversation. It doesn't have to be a very long, drawn out process. Sometimes it's literally just I'm checking in. How are we? How are we doing with this? This is what I'm noticing. This is what's going on. I'm going to take it to the public. Like any thoughts before I do quick conversation, or it can be something that's a little bit more built out where you're solving those problems, where you are getting the steps or you're figuring out the plan to then go to the public. Always check with your contemporaries before just like jumping out into the public because you want to make sure you are prepared, you are aligned, you know what's going on, and you are going to take a step forward instead of just dropping things and hoping for the best. So you want to make sure you're very aware of how this is going to impact the industry. Is it a valuable conversation to be having? Or is it something that is more just for us to personally figure out? Sometimes 
a conversation is best had just with your friend group as opposed to being a full community-wide conversation. If you're unhappy with something, if you're upset with someone who behaves badly in this industry, maybe you just need to find your friend group and just have that conversation. You can vent, you can talk about whatever it is you need to talk about. And then if you're going to have a forward-facing conversation, you've gotten all that other stuff out of the way with your friend group, and now you can have that more professional conversation. Your goal here is always to push the industry forward. So for the most part, you as an author need to be the one in professional standing. You do not need to be weighing in on most of what is going on drama-wise in the book community. There will be certain times with certain very important things that are happening when something really bad happens or some really valuable conversation is going on or something where we can collectively as a community, not you as the person cheerleading this, but collectively as a community grow from this that you can step into. But you have to go back to where you are the most judicial with this, where you're the most intense intentional with this because if you're not you're then just seen as the town crier and nobody's going to listen when the important things come up so as an author your job is to be professional and your job is to help this industry grow if talking badly about somebody is not helping the industry grow don't do it if having a conversation about someone's actions to make sure that nobody else in this industry is doing that is going to push the industry forward and hold people to a higher standard then that is something you can get involved with. But you have to do it in a way that's not finger pointing and blaming and all those things. We have to have that larger conversation. So if somebody does something bad or something happens and we as a collective community need to step up and get that fixed, go ahead and jump into the conversation. You can lead the conversation if you want, but make sure you're doing it with the motives of making the industry better. And before you say anything or respond to anything or answer any questions or respond to any comments in your social media comment section. Ask yourself, how is my response and how I'm wording it and how I'm phrasing it going to move that needle forward? Am I being petty about this? Am I being not kind about this? Am I using this to push me forward in a professional capacity where I am trying to benefit or leverage this to my benefit? Or am I doing this to make sure that we collectively are safe, we have integrity, we are moving forward, we have those good action plans to help the industry? Am I helping to do this in a way that's going to raise all of us up and not just me? Make sure your motives are good. Make sure what you're doing is in the proper terminology. And if you are somebody who is a little hot on the collar, hot under the collar, or you spark a little bit, or you just like really want to get in there with those conversations, you need to have somebody check you before you do that because that can go very badly for you. If you misspeak or you say something that can be taken the wrong way or twisted, sometimes you can have the best motives and you can say something that seems innocuous, but somebody can come in and twist it on you and it can, that can end careers. So your goal here is to protect yourself and your reputation and what you're doing, not inserting yourself into something that you don't belong in and making sure that you are moving the needle forward to benefit and build up this community instead of tearing it down. Always with the motive of not tearing people down, but building people up. Your goal here is to be very, very wise about when you're getting involved. And for some of us, If you are more of a leader, you're going to get involved more so than people who are, you know, coming along a little bit behind us. They're not as outspoken as us. I am somebody who is a leader in this industry and I don't speak on most of these things because I don't need to because sometimes there are other voices that will step up. You don't have to be the person in charge of everything. Sometimes there are people that I can just back. Sometimes I can just have the quiet conversation. Sometimes I can answer the questions behind the scenes. A lot of time with book world drama, people will show up to my live streams and ask me questions as follow-ups or as clarification. So I am there to help but not lead that charge. So take all of that into consideration as you're deciding which book world drama you are going to get involved with. And if you are somebody who just loves a good gossip session, you just love spilling the tea with somebody, get your author friends, have a specific group for that, and go there for most of those conversations because you're going to feel fulfilled at that point and you're going to be able to have those conversations, think things through, get those ideas, soundboard off of each other with this without it being a public facing thing that could cause more problems than good in the general community. Drop your questions down below. We want to make sure we're keeping you safe and protected inside of the publishing space. Every single day we're dropping videos to help you navigate the world of publishing from your writing to your publishing to your marketing to make this your most profitable year ever with the least amount of stress, the least amount of overwhelm, and the least amount of time commitment on your content creation. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.